Welcome to the Lifestyle Medicine Update. I'm Dr. James Machino. Our topic today is drugs that deplete CoQ10 and why it matters. Well, CoQ10 or coenzyme Q10 is a vitamin-like substance that our body makes and needs. And CoQ10 is required by all the cells of the body to convert food into energy. It really acts like a shuttle service that carries hydrogen electrons down the cell step-down transformer system in the energy factory known as the mitochondria. And this is how the body cells generate over 90% of all their energy at any given time. So if a CoQ10 deficiency arises, it's like removing a couple of pistons from your car's engine. And the result is that the car can't fire on all cylinders and you have less energy and less horsepower. The same thing happens in our body. A CoQ10 deficiency results in sort of a power shortage within the cells of the body. And this can be particularly problematic in the heart muscle, which needs to constantly generate enough energy for the heart muscle and the heart pump to keep contracting with optimal force with every heartbeat. As such, a CoQ10 deficiency can easily lead to heart failure, whereby the heart pump gets weaker and weaker over time, resulting in fluids backing up in the lungs and also in the extremities. So congestive heart failure is a serious condition. It's the leading cause of hospital admissions in people over the age of 65, and the long-term prognosis is usually not very good. So it may interest you to know that as we get older, our bodies just naturally make less coenzyme Q10. It's built into the body's aging clock. By the time we're 45 or 50 years old, we're making you know 50% less of, of CoQ10 as we were making when we were in our 20s. And this is often reflected in the concentrations in the heart muscle itself, a 50% depletion of CoQ10. And this is likely a factor that increases risk of congestive heart failure as we age. It's not the only factor. But as such, many nutritional experts, including myself, feel that people should take a CoQ10 supplement each day after the age of 40 years of age. We think about 30 to 60 milligrams a day is probably a good idea just for general prevention once you're over the age of 40 or 45. But what's also unique to the story is that recent studies have shown that certain drugs further deplete the body of CoQ10, whereby higher CoQ10 doses are required to compensate for the further depletion of CoQ10 status that would be induced by these drugs and help to mitigate the associated uh, risk factors of a CoQ10 deficiency, including the potential for congestive heart failure. So the main drugs that deplete CoQ10 include cholesterol-lowering statin drugs. They actually block the synthesis of CoQ10 in the body. And these drugs would include things like Lipitor, Crestor, they're, they're sort of a generic names, Lovastatin, Simvastatin, Provastatin as well as uh, gemfibrozel, which is used to lower triglycerides in the body, and certain drugs that help to manage high blood sugar, such as uh, telozomide and gliburide, as well as beta blockers that are used in the management of high blood pressure. They all deplete CoQ10. So in my view, people over the age of 45 years of age should consider taking about 30 to 60 milligrams of CoQ10 daily to offset the age-related decline in CoQ10 synthesis, and individuals who are taking any of the CoQ10 depleting drugs I've mentioned in this report should discuss with their doctors doctor, the, the, the merits of taking 90 to 100 milligrams a day of CoQ10 to help prevent drug side effects linked to CoQ10 deficiency, including the risk of congestive heart failure. So I've included the references in the text below, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.